In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Joel. Priests, put on sackcloth and lament. Ministers of the altar, wail. Come, pass the night in sackcloth, you ministers of my God. For the house of our God has been deprived of oblation and libation. Order a fast, proclaim a solemn assembly. Elders, call together all the inhabitants of the country to the house of the Lord your God. Cry out to the Lord, O oh, what a day, for the day of the Lord is near. It comes as a devastation from Shaddai. Sound the trumpet in Zion. Give the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the country tremble. For the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near. Day of darkness and gloom. Day of cloud and blackness. Like the dawn that spreads across the mountains, a vast and mighty host, such as has never been before, such as will never be again to the remotest ages. The Word of the Lord The Lord will judge the world with justice. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will recount all your wonders. I will rejoice in you and be glad and sing psalms to your name, O Most High. The Lord will judge the world with justice. You have checked the nations, destroyed the wicked. You have wiped out their names for ever and ever. The nations have fallen in the pit which they made, their feet caught in the snare they laid. The Lord will judge the world with justice. But the Lord sits enthroned for ever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He will judge the world with justice. He will judge the peoples with his truth. The Lord will judge the world with justice. Alleluia! Alleluia! The sheep that belong to me Listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had cast out a devil, some of the people said, It is through Beelzebul, the prince of devils, that he cast out devils. Others asked him as a test for a sign from heaven. But knowing what they were thinking, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is heading for ruin, and a household divided against itself collapses. So too with Satan. If he is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? Since you assert that it is through Beelzebul that I cast out devils, now, 
If it is through Belzebul that I cast out devils, through whom do your own experts cast them out? Let them be your judges then. But if it is through the finger of God that I cast out devils, then know that the kingdom of God has overtaken you. So long as a strong man fully armed guard his own palace, his goods are undisturbed. But when someone stronger than he is attacked and defeats him, the stronger man takes all the weapons he relied on and shares out his spoil. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, it wanders through waterless country, looking for a place to rest. And not finding one, it says, I will go back to the home I came from. But on arrival, finding it swept and tidied, it then goes off and brings seven other spirits more wicked than itself. And they go in and set up house there, so that the man ends up by being worse than he was before. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, are we good in making choices in life? How certain are we? Or do we doubt with our decisions, perhaps full of uncertainty and yet instinctively saying yes? Even choices that we make have its responsibility and consequences. Of course, sometimes it is difficult to make a decent choice because we are in dilemma between what is right and what is good for us. At times what is right are not necessarily good and what is good may not be right where it all depends on situations. Today, our reading is inviting us to reflect on where do we stand in our faith? Are we part-time Catholics or full-time Catholics? Do we remember God when we are in trouble or God is with us all the time? It is understandably difficult to see God in times of uncertainty, but if we have a relationship with Him, we eventually understand and marvel at how God's hands are around us all the time. Because faith is not just a flash in the pan. If we are for God and with God, never be afraid to face temptations. Every time our weaknesses and shortcomings brought us down to our knees, stand up again and be open to the graces of God to work in us. So we wouldn't be worse than before because the devil often uses our weaknesses to stop us from going back to God. Ultimately, we need the Holy Spirit for guidance and to help us discerning what is best for us and what is dear to God. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.